hi my beautiful aquarius welcome to my channel my name is natasha goddess of life 11 11 if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning subscribers welcome back this is a love reading this is a general love reading for my lovely aquarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter this is a general love reading. It won't resonate with everyone. If this reading is not resonate with you, please check out your other birth chart placement for more clarity. Or take what resonate and leave the rest. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Universal energy. My sister, my spirit, God, the pure white light. Archangel Michael, ascended masters. Please give my lovely, beautiful Aquarius a clear, precise, honest message. Thank you. Thank you. And my reading are timeless. You see it when you meant to see it. Thank you so much. One more short fold I heard. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Universal energy. My, my sister must wear God. The pure white light. I can draw Michael. Ascended masters. Please give my lovely, beautiful Aquarius a clear, precise, honest message. Thank you. And I appreciate all of you guys. I'm grateful and thankful for all of your support, your help on my channel. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe before you left the channel. I appreciate you. Thank you. Love is at the bottom. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini at your, in your uh, chart. But I feel like you are trying to um, balancing, you know, try to make a decision when it's come to a reconciliation. You would like to, work, uh, you know, reconcile with someone here. Third chakra, you need to speak up, Aquarius. I feel like you need to speak up, you know, make it speak up, make a decision whether you would like to speak with this person or not. Change your focus. Look at that. Speak up and, you know, it's either you speak up or you move. This is five, five, five. This is all about change and transformation here. The third chakra is for you to speak up. Five, five. Two fives already. Major change for you, Aquarius. Definitely seek you know whomever you are dealing with could be a virgo reach out it's just like you know your both is like in a like a, a heart and a rock place so it's like this person would like to reach out and you seem like you for you want you focus you really like laser focus you know you want to move toward this person you're thinking about it but you're like no i'm not sure i should do that you know and this person is you know they could be um they could be a, a spiritual person here but they um this is a the hermits this someone is trying to get clarity when it's come to this situation someone is fine try to look for answers here when it's come you know they try to shed shed a light you know when it's come to this situation because they want to know that if reaching out will be the best thing for them to do you know working together because the way of pentacles Taurus virgo capricorn Taurus virgo, i mean virgo here it's about reaching out working but i feel like there's a decision to make when it's come to a get together a reconciliation uh because someone's like you know they're indecisive they don't know if you know put effort in this situation because they leave they left the situation behind it's a give your relationship a chance. You know, some of you could already be in a relationship, but you're thinking about someone else and want to give someone else a chance here. Because you felt like this person is your six. Your six is your uh, soulmate kind of energy. Soulmate, twin flame energy. Express your love. Yeah, if you don't speak, you know, no one is going to know anything. You deserve love, you know. Make the effort. Yeah. This person need also need to make, you know, take the initiative here. I feel like this person is not. So they need to they need to take the initiative to reach out. Because you can see the Cupid arrow is heading down uh, toward that person. But are they making any effort? Romantic feelings. Yeah. This person, you know, they have feelings for you. 
they also have feelings for you i feel like just you want a reconciliation with them they also have feelings for you but there is no let go of control issues yes some of you could have you know some controls you know going on into the situation you know the control issue doesn't mean that you're controlling it's just like you could be stubborn and stuff you know you're like i don't want to call first i don't want to you know and things like that you know if that's the way you feel you know i feel like you're both got that mentality here give your relationship you deserve love and make the effort and romantic feelings you're both got that mentality that who's gonna call first who's gonna you know what i'm saying it's really asking this person asking you to you know change you know your focus and they ask this person to reach out because this person at least is meditating and try to and you got the throat chakra again reach out you both got the same ten of swords this is you here Aquarius you know you feel like this was this this relationship is an ending and you are happy you are happy you feeling you feeling yourself you doing yourself you know um you doing like aries energy here being you know not selfish to say but doing you that's what i'm feeling here the ten of swords ending nine of cups is being happy emotionally wish fulfillment on your own night of materials here there's a commitment that's coming towards you or you got i felt like you're going to give some you want to give someone a commitment here then uh, with the knight of pentacles for of inspiration definitely moving towards stability you want to be in a stable committed relationship with this person make the effort look at that i said make the effort without even you know think about it but the aid of materials here is about putting effort you know you know having understanding to work together as a team as a whole what is in business what is some relationship this is make the effort having an understanding here to put effort in the relationship put work on it the empress oh yes you could be dealing with you know an empress here libra taurus or whatnot but that's what you know what i'm feeling here you could be dealing with an aries aries leo sagittarius i feel like this is about in aries here and also taurus virgo capricorn and the empress this is someone that's abundant i mean you who can who say no to someone that's abundance Mm -hmm. unless they got they're missing a couple legs or something but they only have two legs so they can't be missing both you know that's just a joke people i know you know things happen in life but even though this person still deserve love they have very good energy here i'm not feeling that you know anything wrong and stuff like that but i feel like someone in here is like you're both stubborn. I'm just going to say you're both stubborn. Because I feel like if you give this relationship a chance, you'll get a um, muse of inspiration. You take action, Aquarius. If you take action to this situation, you're going to get from Knight of Cups, you're going to reach Ten of Cups with this person and be very victorious in this relationship. But this is my opinion. Let's get this reading out of here. Clarify the um, eight of materials for this person Aquarius dealing with the magician. Yeah, you could be yes, you could be uh, dealing with in Aries, a great manifester. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Aries, Virgo, or you know, a Gemini. But I feel like this person will put on the effort. Look at that, the Knight of Cups. What? You both have Knight of Cups, like emotionally wish fulfillment. This person know how to be happy. They know how to manifest in things. They know how to make things happen. Wow, clarify the Empress here. Or you could be, you know, want someone to be the mother of your child or, you know, yes. Death card, death card to the Empress. So there was an ending to this beautiful, you know, person here. Let's clarify the death card, please. This is that's weird. Clarify the death card. Someone, mother, could pass away. No, wow. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. And yeah, someone, mother, could um, 
in the, I don't know, I'm trying not to say it, but this is said. Um, someone mother here could be um, gonna transition. So if that, I apologize for that because the death with, you know, Empress here, I feel like some, there's a family member, could be an older, could be an older man, an older woman that's gonna be transitioned. Um, if that happened, this is an Aquarius reading. So whoever you are dealing with, I don't think, I don't feel it's on your side, Aquarius. I feel like it's in their side. So I apologize and I'm sorry, my condolences, if that happened to someone that dealing with an Aquarius. But after that, you get, they're coming, uh, whomever this person here, they have an Ace of Cups. Beautiful love energy here happiness this person in love whomever this person is with you Aquarius they are in love with you oh my dear lord mm. clarify the ace of cups yeah this death card and the impulse is bother me I'm so sorry clarify the um the ace of cups please oh my goodness four of ones again very stable very grounded i don't know aquarius if you believe in this type of situation if you believe that but this person is your twins you could be dealing with the twins there is no way in god good planet you're gonna have the ace of cups the full the ace of cups look at this ace of cups the ace of cups the knight of cups in the four of ones and we have the four of ones here twice 11 11 twice you are dealing with a very heavy soulmate energy and this person is oh, my goodness who oh, got this kind of love well good luck aquarius because all of us need that kind of love but you got it you don't even know you got it yep clarify the unknown cards yes my goodness what a beautiful reading. Knight of Wands. Oh, not only this, not only this person, like, is your person, but guess what they got? The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. This person is a Sagittarius. There's a Sag in here that is in love with you, Aquarius. There's a Sagittarius that's in love with you. Or they have Sagittarius in their chart. This person is enamored with you. They want you. I want, I heard all over my body. All over my body. Is that a song? Okay. All over my body. Oh my goodness. So yes. Clarify the Knight of Wands. All over me. Mm. Whoever this person is. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is what just flew out with the Ten of Cups. This person, human being. Oh, and by the way, this is what they're doing. They are releasing toxicity. Any type of toxic, that person thinks that they are working on themselves to release toxicity between you guys so they can come toward you clean. Ooh, Aquarius. You got to say that this is amazing. The devil card in the reverse, this person could drink a lot, but they are quitting drinking. Is that a third party, people? The toxicity here, this person could drink. The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups here with the devil in the reverse, that's someone that drinks a lot. And they are quitting this just for you? Wow. Well, damn. This is what I bought now when we all need to be in Aquarius because the 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, twice here we have the four of ones, the ace of cups, the knight of cups, the ten of cups, and the knight of wands. I feel so hopelessly romantic here. I feel so <laughs> like it's me. Ten of voice. Clarify the ten of voice for Aquarius. And Aquarius, you could have um you could have water, water and air in your chart. Like you have you could have 
Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces on your chart, or you could ha also have um, Capricorn in your chart. Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. Very prominent. The Hierophant. Wow. I'm telling you. This is Taurus energy here. A commitment. But the only way, the reason that they say let go of control issues because you stand in your way. You stand on your way. You stand. It's all about me. You're not willing to bend or change here. That's why they have the five, five, five. Because you're the one who's standing in your way who doesn't want to change. Okay. The Hierophant. You have someone that adores you, that in love with you. Two of Wands, but you're thinking, you thinking this person loves you. Mm. Wow. Clarify the Two of Wands, please. Oh my goodness, look at that. I told you, you're dealing with a twin flame. Whomever, this person that coming to you, they are you, but you need to stop, set things in your ways. You need to stop standing on your ways, be like, you know, it's like, it's my way or the highway, like an old woman, like an old man. Night of emotions, night of emotion, please. This is a beautiful connection. Any person will be glad to have the tower. Mm. You are about to have a tower moment. The, the universe is bringing you a tower moment. Now, <laughs> clarify the tower. I want to know why is the tower is here. Ooh, what? If you have black your own blessing, guess what the universe do? <laughs> They're releasing that. You going to have no choice but to unblock this person. Or for this person, if they block you, they're not going to have no choice but to unblock you. Or you unblock this person, you're going to have to communicate. I feel like there's communication coming through and you don't have no choice. Yeah. Because in order for you to balance the energy, for you to balance the situation out, you're going to have to do this. Because this the Sagittarius energy here, again, is telling me that, you know, the universe is all over this reading. This is universe doing. You're not going to have, you can try to, you know, stand in your way if you want to, but the universe is coming with the tower. You're going to be on black this person. You're going to find peace, balance, and harmony with this person. <laughs> oh my God, because it's your twin flame. It's time. I heard it's time. You both ready. Night of material. The only thing is that, you know, that concerned me. Yep, you're going to work right through this commitment mm -hmm. the only thing that because this is you Aquarius the only thing that you tell me you're gonna have to do some healings you're gonna have to do some healings and you're gonna have to drop that stubbornness clarify the six of swords yeah oh my goodness what a beautiful reading I just love when the universe doing things knight of pentacles yeah because yeah you single here you by yourself you grounded you stable what are you waiting for? And so this person, this person is an empress. They are coming as an empress. <laughs> oh, you tripping. I swear you tripping. You, you're going to play hard to get no matter what. The Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Oh, Aquarius. You're going to try to play the hardball way in here while the universe is calling the shot, please. Knight of Pentacles. This is funny. King of Cups. Now you're talking. <laughs> there you go. Pop up in the reading. Like I say, you be an Aquarius that have Scorpio energy. That's a Scorpio in your chart. I feel like this is Cancer Scorpio. I feel like you have those prominent. It could be your son or your, you know, whatever. But I feel like you got water in your chart. In your chart, very prominent. Like rising and moon and everything. You have those. Wow. You release toxicity. For this beautiful commitment, the Ace of Cups, beautiful energy to have here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I want to cry. 
this reading like make me feel so sappy and stuff yeah you, you're missing this person and you act like you don't you are missing this person you act like you don't the secret is out my goodness you love this person you love you matter of fact you are oh this person is so damn in love with you i said damn yes i said it because <laughs> i was it too see again then i say i said that earlier being positive being you know finding the resolution uh peaceful resolution between you and this person oh look what you guys would not believe what's come out look at that peaceful resolution <laughs> I didn't, it will not even come out yet by the time I say it in a bam. Forgiveness. Listen, if you have to forgive someone or they have to forgive you, just talk. Get it out of the way because I feel like you guys love each other. Oh my God, you guys are so in love. I feel like crying. You're not going to make me cry because I said the peaceful resolution, the angel is happy. Oh, bye, Aquarius. I got to go. Y'all make me feel so smushy inside. You both are so in love with each other. Oh, I'm waiting for that love. Bye, Aquarius. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.